Hey everyone, welcome to Just Beyond the Pages. You see what I did there? It's like just beyond the pages, but I'm Jess. Eh? It was the most creative name I could come up with. Don't at me. I'm Jessica, you can call me Jess. Ever since I was young, I've always enjoyed reading and I'm always so excited whenever I finish a good book and I have so much to say. So I thought, why not make it a segment on this channel? I thought about making a book channel, but I don't read enough to be able to post consistently on that channel plus maintain this channel. So I decided to make a playlist on this channel and I also have a TikTok account. So for any readers out there, if you would like to check out any book related videos, then check out the playlist, check out my TikTok. I'll link it in the description below. That being said, if you know me, you don't. Jen, Sarah, don't watch these videos. My taste in books is very questionable and I don't need you guys teasing me. I don't have a schedule for this segment yet, but you can expect to see book related videos, whether it is a tour of my book collection, a reading vlog, or even a reading challenge. I thought for today's video, I would start off with a little introduction and answer some questions in a get to know me book edition type of video. So I have the questions and the answers. Let's get to it. I didn't want to be interrupted while answering questions, so I moved to the basement. First question, what's the first book you ever remember reading? Aside from The Magic Treehouse or Geronimo Stilton or Disney fairy tale books, one of the earliest memories I have was when I went to my cousin's house for his birthday and everyone was in the living room playing Kingdom Hearts or Super Mario. What was I doing? I was in the corner of the room reading one of a series of unfortunate events by Lemony Snicket. I remember when I was young that was one of my favorite series and I would stay up so late reading the books. It's one of the earliest memories of one of the first books I've ever read that inspired me to keep reading. Did someone read to you when you were a child? My parents used to read to me. Has a book ever changed your life? I definitely think books have impacted me in one way or another, whether it's big or small. I feel that after I read a book, I take a piece of the character's personality and I add it into my own. So like in a series of unfortunate events, Klaus inspired me to read more. Maya from Throttled inspired me to do more with my channel. So I was on the edge of making this book playlist, but then after reading Throttled, I was like, okay, this is a sign I need to do more with my channel. Bo from the Off Campus series made me realize that tomorrow is never granted and you should make the most of every day and make the most of being present and in the moment now because tomorrow isn't guaranteed. What genres do you love? Romance. Specifically, the series that can be read as a standalone but the characters still appear in the other books. So like Off Campus, Briar U, Dirty Air series, Crimson Elite. That's my category. Have you ever met a famous or semi-famous author face to face? Define famous because I took a course in university called The Sociological Enterprise and each week we would read a different book and then that author would come in and speak about it. At the end of the lecture, I would go down and I'd thank them for coming and then I'd ask them to sign the book for me. The speakers and the authors, they were professors at my school. So I don't know if I would define that as famous, but I mean, it was still a really cool experience. Do you prefer paperbacks or ebooks? I'm really specific when buying paperbacks because books cost a lot of money. Book buying and book reading are two separate things. I only buy books that matter most to me or that, you know, I love the cover of. There are a few books that I have that are ebooks that I wouldn't buy the real book because I don't like the cover of them. I'm not trying to bash the author or whoever chose the cover. I'll rarely buy books that have real people on the covers because I don't like those kinds of covers for books. I'm very specific when it comes to buying paperbacks and then obviously I love ebooks because it's easier when I'm traveling to have my whole ebook library rather than carrying like two or three books during a long trip. What book or series do you hope will be turned into a movie or TV show one day? Off campus, please! Or low-key, low-key, Den of Vipers. Den of Vipers is a dark book but it's so good. But yeah, definitely off campus. I would love to see it being a TV show because there's just so much about it and there's so many important storylines between the characters and between the friendships that I would definitely prefer seeing as a show rather than four movies that are just an hour and a half long. Has a book you liked ever been turned into a movie or TV series and you hated that adaptation? A series of unfortunate events movie I did not like, but a series of unfortunate events TV show 
I liked. The reason I didn't like the movie was because I haven't seen the movie in a long time, but I'm like 99% sure that they didn't cover all of the books in the movie. And I was so sad about that because I was like, y'all are missing the most important parts. But the TV show on Netflix did a really good job on doing it justice. After and after we collided, the movies did not do the books justice. I definitely think they should have, you know, taken a step back looked at the material, thought about what direction they were heading in because it could have been a bit better. My issue is there was a scene in After You Collided where they go skating. In the movie, it seems so out of place. A lot of the scenes in the movies didn't fit or didn't flow. That's my critique. I still love it. I still love the actors, the actresses, like everything is awesome about it. It's just the flow and the storyline. There's disconnection between them. What attracts you to a book? Honestly, I usually jump into books without reading anything. It's exhibit A, Den of Vipers. Recently, I've been jumping into books because of recommendations through social media. I'm in the book talk world. When TikTok recommends the same book over and over again, I tend to go and check that one out because it's getting a lot of hype, so I want to see what it's about. And usually it's pretty good, like off campus. Have you read any of the classics? My friend and I did a Jane Austen book club. This was like last summer, it was the beginning of summer, but then we stopped because things got busy. Jane Austen's work is very tough to read, very difficult, but I really want to read more of her work and more of the other classics. I read The Great Gatsby during my Europe trip. I really want to read Bronte, Wuthering Heights. You probably know why. <laughs> because of after. Has a book ever scared you or given you nightmares? Traumatized me? Yes. Den of Vipers. Are there any books that are considered terrible but are your guilty pleasures? After Den of Vipers, Fifty Shades. Next question. Do you prefer old books or new books? If we're talking old books as in used books, then definitely old books because I love going thrifting. One, it is a lot cheaper than Indigo or the big bookstores out there. And two, it's so cool picking up a book and feeling the texture of it and thinking about who read it before you. I feel like books have a lot of character even before you start reading them. Would you like more time to read books? Yes. Next question. Where do you usually discover new books? Either physical bookstores, like when I go in person, which I haven't been able to recently because of the pandemic, online stores, or social media, such as BookTok. Where do you like to read? In my room or in the car. Usually people get dizzy or nauseous when they're reading in the car, but I'm fine. I'm either reading in the car or I'm filming. And then obviously the coziest spot to read is in bed. Do you judge a book by its cover? Not really. A lot of the books I have on ebook, I dislike the covers, but I love the material inside. So I don't really pay attention to the covers during the ebook. I think the only way the cover matters for me is if I'm buying the book. Do certain tropes attract you? Anti-heroes, enemies to lovers, friends to lovers, fake dating, oh my gosh. The trope that I did not know I needed, but it's so cheesy and so cute and I love it. Are there any books that you haven't been able to finish? Why not? The book You, I watched the Netflix series and then I bought the book and I started reading it and I got halfway through, but I started getting creeped out by it. I could hear Penn Badgley's voice when I was reading the book because the text of the book is similar, if not the same, as Penn Badgley's narration in The You Show. I had to pause. I'm going to finish it though because I hate leaving books unread. What are some of your favorite quotes or scenes from a book? There are too many to answer in this video. If you want a separate video about it, let me know, but I can't give a solid answer for this. Did you read books in school? Can you remember which ones? I read To Kill a Mockingbird. Speak. For Shakespeare, I read Merchant of Venice, Romeo and Juliet. I took English in summer because I wanted to fast track and have a spare in my final year. I read Salem Witch Trials, Death of a Salesman. I had to write a eulogy and it was interesting. Something that I hadn't done before, but I learned a lot from that activity. And then in university, I read a ton of books. I can't really tell you the names because I totally forgot. And then like half of them are textbooks. Are there any books you could read over and over again and never get bored? Maybe the After series because that was crazy for me and then Call Me By Your Name. But aside from those books, I'm the type that rereads specific scenes over and over again, whether I think it's really cute or something that's so funny. Do you like to display your books on a bookshelf? or keep them in a virtual library. 
I love my bookshelf in my room. There's a bookshelf in my mom's office and a bookshelf in the basement. I love having my books out for people to see when they come in. I even have books on my desk where my mirror is. I'll show you in my book tour. When did you last visit a library? Two months ago, I walked by my school campus library. I haven't been outside much since COVID, so that's a pretty bad answer. Have you ever had a crush on a book character? Please tell me you don't have a crush on a fictional character. He loved me, he gave me all his money. That Gucci Prada come feed my sugar daddy. Uh, 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 uh. He Next question. Has a book ever made you laugh out loud? Oh my gosh, yes. Literally, San Diego and Chloe's story in Redeemed by Lauren Asher. I am going to talk more about this in a book review video for that book. It's just one of the books that made me laugh so much. Has a book ever made you cry? I don't cry often when it comes to books or movies, which is surprising because I do cry a lot. Or at least I used to cry a lot. One book that really made me cry was Wrecked by Lauren Asher. Oh my gosh, don't get me started right now. I'm literally going to start crying thinking about it. But I'm gonna do a book review on that book because it deserves a whole separate video. Are you generally good at guessing twists or being able to see what's coming? Usually I'm horrible at guessing. I usually come up with a bunch of theories for something and then continue reading to see if it'll play out. Most of the time it doesn't and I'll explain more in another video. I feel like I'm saying that for all my answers but a lot of these questions deserve a separate video which I will get to. So stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell. What's your favorite drink or snack to have beside you while reading? Water. I rarely even drink water while I read because I'm so scared that the condensation from my bottle will get onto my book. Last question. What book will you read next? Honestly, my TBR, my to be read list is so long, I have no idea. And I'm the type that will have the TBR list, but then when I see a book and it looks interesting, I'll totally disregard my TBR list and I start reading a new book. This happened with the off-campus series. I have a long list, yet I set it aside to read off-campus. And then when I moved on to the Briar U series, I found another book. So then I took a break from the Briar U series and I went to the other book. Now I'm back with the Briar U series, but I haven't forgotten the tbr list it's literally all over the place i'm gonna end the video here i hope you guys enjoyed if you did give it a thumbs up comment down below any book recommendations or book related videos you'd like to see on this channel subscribe if you haven't already hit the notification bell and until next time i'll see you later